Hi guys, my name is Terry. In this video, I'm going to go through with you additional mathematics from 5 chapter 1, Circular Measure Formative Exercise 1.1. If you enjoy this video, can you like, subscribe, or leave us a comment if you have any question. So let's begin with the first question. Question number one, convert each of the falling angles into degree. Very simple. Um, we know that the relationship between degree and radian is this. Uh, 1 pi radian is 180 degrees. So if you want to convert 7 over 12 pi into degree, we simply substitute the pi with 180 and that will give us 105 degrees. Now the second one B, we have 1 1 over 3 pi. We can convert this to 4 over 3 pi. Since again pi is 180 degree, we can cancel out 60 times 4, 240 degrees. Now, the third one is given in solely in radian, there's no pi. So we need to use this relation. Now we know 1 pi radian is 180 degree. So 1 radian is 180 divided by pi. So if you have 2 radian, we take 2 times 180 divided by pi. But remember to use 3.142. So if you type in your calculator using 3.142, you will get 114.58. Now, actually it's okay to leave your answer in degrees only, but normally we use up to two decimal points. Uh, but sometimes we can also give answer in degrees and minutes. And remember, one degree is 60 minutes. But you can use your calculator uh, degree and minute button press on it yeah it will convert directly for you and your textbook give answer in degree and minute so if you convert to degree and minute you will get 114 degree 35 minutes okay next I'm going to do part D over here we have 4.8 pi so 4.8 radian so you basically multiply 180 pi again use your calculator in radian uh, in as 3.142 a pi is 3.142 so you will get 274.98 that is if it's in degree up to two decimal places but if you change to degree and minute you will get 274 degree 59 minutes okay let's move on to question number two now in this question we're supposed to convert from degree back to radian now as i said earlier one degree is uh, one radian one pi radian is 180 degree so 180 degree is now pi radian so if you want to convert to one degree then you have to take pi divide by 180 radian so basically all these are for part a 76 you just have to multiply pi over 180 and remember when you key in your calculator please use 3.142 and you will get 1.327 this answer in radian and give your answer correct to three decimal places okay for part b we have 139 we just multiply with pi over 180 this will give us 2.426 radian the third one is 2c 202.5 you multiply pi over 180 um, Use your calculator again use 3.142 you will get 3.535 you round up correct to three decimal places okay this is in degree and minute i hope you know how to use the degree and minute button in your calculator you type 320 degree the degree and minute button press 10 and then press the same button you multiply with pi over 180 use your calculator in uh, uh use your, your pi is 3.42 and you may have to press the degree minute button once again otherwise your answer will give you 5 degree and something minute so uh, press the button again you get 5.589 radian okay fairly simple all right moving on to question number three in in this question yeah we have angle poq is a sector of a circle with center o you're supposed to convert the angle into radian so very simple the first one is 73, 73 degree remember uh, 1 pi radian is 
1 pi radians 180, 1 radian is pi over 180. Again, we're going to use this, the same formula or the same uh, conversion yeah, as we did earlier. Okay, for question number 2, 73 times with pi divided 180. So first answer, I got 1.274. Okay, for B, I have 118i times with pi divided by 180. Again, please use 3.142. I got 2.060 radian. The third one is 150.5 times pi over 180. I got 2.627 radian. Lastly, 220 u times with pi divide 180, 3.840 radian. Okay, simple. That's all. Only three questions for this formatted practice 1.1. 1 .1. uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Yep, I'll see you in the next video.